Hi ladies, well congratulations. We're on day nine of our Daniel fast. And it's been awesome to see what God's been doing in our lives individually. And I'm here with Dr. Mario Murillo and his beautiful wife, Michelle. And earlier in the green room, he was telling me the funniest story about fasting. And Mario, can you tell the ladies that, that story that you were telling me in the green room? I want to tell you how amazing uh, the power of fasting. And I'll tell you a funny story. I, I think you'll get a kick out of this. One of the greatest men of God in deliverance was Dr. Lester Summerall. And this is a true story. He had an assistant named Murphy. And one day, and Dr. Summerall had this gruff voice, but the demons sure knew who he was. And one day he says to his assistant named Murphy, he goes, Murphy, tomorrow at noon, we're going to cast the devil out of this woman. But in order to cast it out, we're going to have to fast and pray. So I want you to skip dinner. I want you to skip breakfast. <laughs> And after we cast the devil out of her, we'll have a late lunch. So Murphy went home and everything got ready for the next day at noon. They met at this woman's house and Dr. Summerall starts exorcising the demon. He says, I command you in the name of Jesus to come out. And the demon and the woman says, I'm not coming out. He said, you have to come out. She said, I'm not coming out. He said, I know you're the kind of devil that doesn't come out except through fasting and prayer. And Murphy and I, we fasted and prayed. So you have to come out. And the demon goes, Murphy ate. And then all of a sudden, Dr. Summerall looks at Murphy and he said, Murphy, did you eat? And he said, Pastor, I was so hungry. I had a piece of toast and an egg this morning. Well, it is hilarious to think that the powers of darkness fully are aware of what you ladies are doing. And the power of it is so great. And I know you're gonna cross that finish line and you're gonna get the blessing that you're seeking from God. Oh, it's funny because about now they're probably getting a little weak <laughs> and a little tempted to cheat a little bit on the fast. So I hope that encouraged you ladies. Don't cheat, don't break your fast because how many of you know that the demons in hell will know that you broke your fast? <laughs> <laughs> and we wanna be women of power. We wanna be women that have the power and strength to see miracles take place place among us and we're on day nine wow we're on day nine and and we have quite a few days left and today guess what our challenge is every day they have a challenge of the day and today's challenge is to give a pentecostal handshake oh amen, <laughs> amen. amen. what happened to those pentecostal oh, handshakes oh i know they went away but, but, yeah I remember we're bringing those. them back yeah <laughs> so i just want to encourage you ladies Take time to get in that prayer closet because I know the devil would try and do everything he can to stop mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, we're laughing because I told Georgina I'm not a speaker, but I do want to share my heart about this. Um, God sees those intimate times. They're precious to him. He hears your prayers and he will move um, on your behalf. And whether it's for your family or this church or the outreach that you're, that you're about to do, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's important, every single one of you, every single prayer counts. So get in there and fight for it. And that's all I wanted to say. You know what I love, um, because you have talked a lot about your mom and your dad to me over the years. And one thing I love is you always tell me is that they're soul winners. Yes. And she, one thing she's always shared with me is that everywhere her dad goes, he wins a soul. And I think that's awesome. Tell us a little bit about that, Michelle. Well, my dad is um, 87 now. And he moved in with uh, Mario and I after my mom passed away. But um, he comes home, he goes golfing five days a week and he comes home every day. He said, you know, until I get to be with my wife, he says, I have a job to do. And he says, it's to win souls. And he has the boldness of the Lord on him. And um, I would say he wins at least one soul a day. That's and so he doesn't awesome. hesitate. He tells them about their future. He tells them about heaven. He tells them about hell. He's not afraid. Um, very bold, but he takes their hand and he prays with them and he makes sure he follows through on each person. So I just encourage you again, as Georgina said, that it's important to press through on soul winning also and not be afraid. Don't be intimidated. Don't let the devil intimidate you. Yeah. Amen. That's Amen. what it's all about. Soul winning, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, we're out eating and all of a sudden Mike, that's her dad's name, he's missing. 
And then you start thinking, well, he's 87 years old. Wonder if his mind is fading. But he'll be off in the corner leading the manager of the restaurant to the Lord, praying with him right there. Yeah. He's very convicting to me. You know, and we love him. We love him a lot. So ladies, I encourage you, let's continue on this fast. We also have our Friday night prayer meetings taking place, and we've called them the great escape. <laughs> Because as women, it's so hard to, to find that quiet place to pray because right. we have babies and a lot of distractions at home. And so we wanted to provide an avenue for women to come out and also to come corporately and pray corporately here in our sanctuary. And so Friday night from 10 to 12, join us, all of us women here as sisters in Christ. And we're going to be believing God for to break chains. We're yeah. going to be believing for those unsafe family members that you yeah. have be been believing for for a long time. We're in our sanctuary now, and all these names over here, Mario, are names of people, our members wrote there, wow. people, salvations that they're believing Praise for the Lord. within their families. And so how many of you know we have a lot to pray about? And so on Friday night, we're going to be laying hands on that wall. Awesome. And, and there are many answered prayers on that wall, but there are still many names on there that we need to still intercede for those yes. family members that still need to receive Jesus. And so I encourage you, continue on. When yes. you get weak, yes. use this fasting forum. Log on, watch the blog of the day. You can read your scripture. You can even type in there and begin to talk to your sisters. and. Get encouragement from, from one another. Let's take advantage of that. And also give your Pentecostal today. When I, was, uh, when I was at the Mother Church, when I was about 19 years old, there was a sister in the church, and she was a widow. And every Sunday she would give me, not every Sunday, but every Sunday she was there. She was elderly, so she was there about every other week. And she would give me a Pentecostal handshake. And this, you know how, how, how many hundreds of dollars she would give me? God, what a <laughs> she would give me about $300 every Pentecostal handshake. And let me tell you, at greeting time, I was walking around making sure I shook <laughs> <laughs> her hand. And the funny thing is, is that there's five of us kids, and she would only give these Pentecostals to me and my brother Tim. <laughs> and so this woman was always blessed. She yes. was always blessed Amen. abundantly. She dressed beautifully Amen. every single time she came to church. And I know that God blessed her because that's right. of her giving. Yes. And so that's the type of women we want in our church, women who give in secret, yes. women who walk around. Give a Pentecostal to somebody Amen. that God puts on your heart today. And continue on this fast. Find that quiet place of prayer. Find that quiet, secret place within your house. And let's get a hold of God, women. I love you. God bless. Amen.